everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate Google Lens on your Android device. Open up your Google app on your Android phone to get started. Once you are done, tap on the Google Lens icon right at the corner of the search box at the top. Soon after you do that, point your camera at an object or a text. How you can easily sign into your Google Lens account. First, in order to sign into your Google Lens, you'll first need to sign into your Google account. Simply go ahead and open up your Google app or log into your Google account on a web browser by typing in google.com in the search box. Now, you'll need to go ahead and enter your Google account's credentials. Type in your email or your phone number that is associated with your Google account in the text box that appears on the screen. After you do that, tap on the next button at the bottom right. Inside the password text box, Type in the correct password for your account. If you've forgotten your password, you can get help by clicking Forgot Password and follow through the process. After you are done entering the password, tap Next at the bottom right. Agree to the Google's Terms of Service and Privacy policy by tapping I agree. Soon after you do that, you'll be logged into your Google account. After you are logged in, you can go ahead and easily use the Google Lens feature by tapping the lens icon right next to the microphone in the search box at the top. How to add Google Lens to your home screen on Android phone. To add Google Lens to your home screen using your Android device, simply go ahead and open up your Play Store and search for Google Lens into the search box. Download the Google Lens application on your Android device by tapping the install button. Once you are done, go ahead and locate the Google Lens app from your app drawer. Now press hold the app icon and wait for a couple of minutes until you get to this home screen. Now simply drag and release your Google Lens app icon and place it right here on this home screen. And that is it. You've successfully added Google Lens to your home screen. How to change Google Lens account. Open up your Google application from your Android phone or tablet. Now, tap on your profile picture or your initial at the top right hand corner. Now, tap on manage your Google account and then swipe towards the security tab and tap on it. Scroll all the way down. Now under third party apps with account access, tap on Google Lens. If you don't find Google Lens in the list, tap on manage third party access. Scroll down and find Google Lens from the list on the next page. Select Google Lens from the list and then tap on remove access. Now in order to add a new account, tap on your profile picture from the main home page of Google app. Now. Tap on Manage your Google account and tap on the drop down right under your name at the top and select a different account from the list or simply tap on Add another account. Enter your email address or your phone number associated with your Google account you'd like to change to and then tap Next. On the next field, type in your password correct and you'll be able to log into your alternative Google account you'd want to change to. That is how you can easily change your Google Lens account in a few simple steps. How to change Google Lens to search images. First, open up the Google application on your mobile device or you can also open up your Chrome app. Now simply go to a website with the image you'd want to search. Now open up the image and press hold the image for some seconds. Now tap on search image with Google Lens and tap on continue in the pop-up. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to change Google Lens into image search. How to scan QR code with Google Lens. First, open up your Google Lens app from your app drawer or simply open up your Google app and tap on the color lens icon in the Google Assistant page. Doing so will open up a Google Lens on your mobile device. Now, simply go ahead and center your QR code on the screen like I'm doing right now and you'll be able to see a notification pop up. Tap on the link in order to scan QR code with Google Lens. How to add Google Lens on Android device. To add Google Lens on your Android device is easy. Google Lens is a software developed using machine learning technology for AI visuals. Many of the Android devices comes with this software already integrated in it. But if you want to learn how you can easily add it on your Android device, if you're not sure if it is already available to you, 
Then here is how you can do it. First, launch open your Play Store and in the search box type in Google Lens and search. Once you find the Google Lens from Google LLC application, tap on install. Now wait for the app to be installed on your mobile device. And after the installation is completed, tap on open. This will now launch open Google Lens on your Android phone. Accept to the necessary permissions. Allow access to your gallery by tapping on allow access at the bottom and tap on allow to the necessary permission. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to see this camera pop up. You can now select images in order to look for results from Google Lens. You can also use your camera by tapping on the camera icon at the top and point your camera towards the image you'd like to search from Google Lens. Simply point your camera screen towards the picture and click on the search button and Google Lens will now look for related matches. That is how you can easily add Google Lens on Android device. How to add Google Lens to iPhone. First, go ahead and open up your App Store. In the search box, type in Google and search. Once you find the Google application, tap the download button and download the Google application right on your iPhone. Until the Google application downloads, let me tell you what Google Lens is. Google Lens is an image and text recognition app that uses the Google search to deliver results based on what it sees in photos. Once your Google application is downloaded, tap on open to launch open the app. Now, allow necessary permissions for the app and then make sure that you are logged into your Google account as well by entering your credentials. Once you're inside the Google main homepage, tap on the lens icon right next to the microphone icon in the search box at the top. Now, on the next page, you can search for images with your camera or search with your photos by allowing access to your gallery. To do it from your gallery, tap on allow access at the bottom and select the photos you'd like to use. After you are done, Tap on the picture again and the Google Lens will deliver images as seen in the photo that I've just uploaded. You can also search for images from your camera. Tap on the camera icon at the top and allow your camera access to Google by tapping OK. Now, go ahead and aim your device's camera at the object that you'd like to know more information about. Once you are done, Tap on the search icon or the shutter button at the bottom to search and you'll be able to see the Google Lens doing its work. How to delete Google Lens photos To delete Google Lens activity, for example, images and searches, you'll need to first open up Google app. Simply go ahead and open up your Google application or open up your Google account from a web browser. And once you end up on this page, tap on your Google account profile picture at the top right hand corner. Now tap on manage your Google account. Select data and privacy. Scroll down to history settings and tap on web and app activity. Scroll down and tap on the Google Lens app icon under see and delete activity. This will open up your Google Lens activity history page. Now you'll be able to see all of the images that you've searched for on the list. To delete those photos, tap on the cross icon and tap on delete in order to delete the activity. Also, you can tap on the delete drop down at the top right and choose to delete the photos that you've searched for today by tapping on delete today. You can also tap on the custom range option and Select the days you would like to delete the picture from. With the help of the calendar, go ahead and tap on the calendar icon and select the date you would like to delete the picture from. After you are done selecting the dates, tap on the next button at the bottom right and tap delete again and you'll be able to delete your photos from the lens activity page. Also, you can use the button and enable auto delete, select the time range in order to delete the activity that are older than the preferred time that you select and tap next at the bottom right. How to disable Google Lens on Android device. Now let's get started with the video. To disable Google Lens on Android, first, go and open up Settings app from your Android device. Now, tap on Apps from the list. Click the three dots appearing at the top right hand corner and tap on Show System Apps from the pop-up. Scroll down and tap on Lens. Now. Tap on the uninstall button from the app info page. Tap OK in the pop-up. And that is how you have successfully disabled the Google Lens app on your Android smartphone. 
how to get rid of Google Lens on iPhone. The Google Search app includes a useful tool called Google Lens, which helps users identify various items in their immediate environment. First, in order to turn off Google Lens from your iPhone, you can disable camera and photo access. Simply go ahead and tap on the Settings app from your iPhone. Now, scroll down and tap on Privacy and Security. From the Privacy and Security setting, scroll down and tap on Photos. To turn off Google Lens, tap on Google from the app list, select None from the options, and now go back to the Privacy and Security page. Now, scroll down and tap Camera. Tap on the toggle button right next to Google to the off position. After you are done with it, you can now uninstall your Google application. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to get rid of Google Lens on iPhone. How to log out of Google Lens In order to log out of your Google Lens, you'll need to log out of your Google account. To do so, open up your Google application and tap on your profile icon at the top right hand corner. Tap on your email address right under your name at the top and tap on manage account on this device. Now, go ahead and Tap on your Google account email address again and click Remove Account. Tap the Remove Account button one more time in the pop-up at the bottom and you'll be able to log out of your Google Lens account. Alternatively, you can also log out of your Google account by opening the Settings app on your Android phone. Simply go ahead and tap Open Settings from the app drawer and then scroll down and tap on Accounts and Backup. Tap on Manage your Google account right under the Google account that you are logged in with and select your email at the top again, tap manage account on this device, select Google and tap on remove account. How to delete or clear your Google Lens history? First, log into your Google account on a PC. Go ahead and open up a web browser and type in google.com into the search box and search. Now, make sure that you're logged into your Google account as well. Next, Click the profile picture available at the top right from your Google account and click on Manage your Google account. Once you are logged into your Google account, click on Data and Privacy. From the Data and Privacy option, scroll down and click on Web and App Activity. Now, click the Google Lens option under See and Delete Activity and you'll be able to see your Google Lens history on this page. Simply go ahead and select Delete button. From the time range in the pop-up, you can delete the lens activity that you searched for today or from all time. You can also set it to auto delete and from the drop-down, select the time period that is older than the certain time that you've selected. If you want to manually delete it, go ahead and click the cross icon right next to your Google Lens activity. Repeat the process for every other activity you are trying to delete. And that is how you'll be able to delete your Google Lens history. That is how it can be easily done. If the video was helpful to you, Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more videos like this. Thank you for watching.